Hey y'all, there is so much motivation jam-packed full in today's video. I'm organizing spaces in my home that have been neglected and I'm starting out with a bathroom refresh in the kids' bathroom. It was much needed for more storage space. So if you need some ideas for your small home for storage, then I hope that I can give you some ideas. But there is so much to do today and we're gonna end it with a delicious, easy dinner for tired mamas. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off in my kids bathroom. This is also our guest bathroom. This is the night before I filmed the full video. We're going to go ahead and take everything out of here so my husband can take the shelf off. We are going to be building our new shelf and putting that in here. And it got pretty late so I'm picking the camera up the next day so we can organize it. We're going to go ahead and take care of this bathroom. I had a gray organizer in here that I loved but unfortunately it just took up so much more space than I would like. So we wanted to get that out of the way. We're gonna take everything out from underneath the sink and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything into categories so I can figure out where I wanna put everything. And it does take a little bit of trial and error to figure out how everything is going to fit and how everything is gonna work out the best. So you might see me moving things around a little bit. And underneath this cabinet is in kind of bad condition. So I just do my best to take care of it in the best way that I can. So we're gonna go ahead Ahead and wipe it down and figure out how I can store all of this. Also, all of the organization that you see me using in this video is organization that I've already had or things that I have recently picked up from Goodwill. So I'm so excited to show y'all the way that it turned out. It turned out so good. The bathroom actually ends up looking bigger without that gray shelf in here. And I found a beautiful mirror that I'm going to be hanging in here over top of where the kids hang their towels. But I already had these little organ organizers down here. I got these from five below. They were five and three dollars. The large one was five dollars and the two smaller ones was three dollars. So it did take me a minute to just kind of figure out how everything was going to fit and under the sink I just have a few extras that I end up taking out and storing in this basket here. I got this basket at Goodwill recently for $4.99. It was a steal of a deal. I love finding my baskets at Goodwill. But anyways all of the extras that I was keeping under the sink extras as in shampoos and toothpaste that are just extra for when we run out I want to store in this basket and put it up high because it's not really something we reach for every day so things that the kids reach for every day I want to put down low and I did find these acrylic toothbrush holders from Walmart for $2 a piece and I'm going to go ahead and put them in these Goodwill baskets and it just makes them look prettier because they're in baskets. I love to use baskets around my house. It just makes my home feel warm and cozy. I'm also going to be adding this white basket up here that was $2 from Walmart and three of these glass jars that I've had for years. I found these at the Dollar General forever ago and I just have Q-tips and cotton balls and toothpicks and over here in this white basket I'm actually going to switch the this white basket out for a gray basket because when I closed the doors the white basket did not fit very well I kind of had to push the door closed pretty hard for it to close all the way so I'm gonna actually switch that out here in just a little bit but I'm using that basket for my 13 year olds things because she is older so she needs to have her own personal basket in there for her face wash and her moisturizers and her acne treatment and things like that so I did have a designated space for her to keep all of those things I didn't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of new organizers for my house so I did use things that I already had around my house or things that I found cheap at Goodwill the only thing I really bought new was the bathroom cabinet because we really needed a storage cabinet in this bathroom I struggle so bad with storage in this bathroom with four kids so here I'm just gonna use this gray basket to put all of my 13 year olds things in and I'm gonna use something else for the rags and I'll show you guys the way that I organized everything here at the end but it ended up working out so much better than that great organizer I had in here if you guys are subscribers I'm sure you have seen it or you've seen me take it out of the bathroom before I started putting things in this white organizer we're also gonna add some strawberry pound cake Bath and Body Works hand soap over here on the sink. That stuff smells so, so good. I'm gonna pry off this baby lock that was on the cabinet because it was broken and it did rip off some of the paint. I recently had painted this cabinet white because it was in terrible condition, but I can just touch up that later and fix the paint. And I'm also gonna wipe down the bottom of the walls and the baseboards because my kids just like to touch the walls with dirty hands and put their feet on the walls. So we're gonna get this all taken care of. Um. 
I picked up this rug for the kids' bathroom. It was about $13. They had a little yellow flower rug in here, but it slides around too easily and it was always scrunched up and I just got tired of it. So I broke down and bought this dark blue rug because it matches the shower curtain. As you can see, it kind of has dark blue navy stripes. And I found this mirror for $2.99 at Goodwill and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to use it in the kids' bathroom and I have the hooks on the wall for the kids to hang their towels up. So I just went ahead and hung that mirror over those hooks. And this is the way the bathroom looks after. I love it so much. The tall cabinet and the mirror over the towel hooks makes the bathroom just look taller and bigger. Everything is so organized. And you know, sometimes it's more about everything looking so aesthetic. You can make things look nice, but they don't have to be 100% aesthetic. So I have my daughter's shave cream and hairspray in here next to her toothbrush basket. The middle basket is my six-year-old's basket, and the last basket over to the left is my boy's basket. They share one for their toothbrushes and toothpaste. Then I have the rainwater scented air freshener next to that. That smells so good. And then my 13-year-old's basket above that, and all of their Q-tips and cotton balls and their floss and everything they're going to need hid away in this cabinet. It also looks very neat and tidy. And then I also keep the toilet paper here for extra toilet paper. And then in this basket, I just added some bath bombs and some baby wipes for the kiddos. And I just love how neat and organized it looked. And then underneath the kids bathroom sink, I'm going to get a command hook to hang this potty seat up here. I've used this for all my kids and I just kind of am saving it for when I potty train my two year old. We have not got there yet. But I'm gonna get a command hook so I can hang that up underneath the cabinet right there to get it off of everything that's under there. But I love, love, love the way that it all turned out. And next we are gonna head into my bathroom and go ahead and pull everything out from underneath my sink, vacuum it out, wipe it down, and reorganize it way better than it was in there. And you'll have to let me know, do you have like a cleaning closet or do you keep all of your cleaning supplies in a designated area like underneath your kitchen sink or in your laundry room? I really have not figured out where I want to keep all of my cleaning supplies yet. I really need to figure that out. I don't really have room for a cleaning closet or just a cleaning area to keep everything. So I just have this little caddy here that I was storing underneath my bathroom sink. And I wanted to take that out and put it somewhere else because I don't like it to be under there with my everyday things like our mouthwash and just stuff that we keep in the bathroom. I don't really want to keep our cleaning supplies down there with it. So I'm going to take that out and just go store it in my kitchen until I can figure out what to do with that. But hopefully I can come up with a good idea for like a cleaning closet or a cleaning space to keep all of my cleaners. I'm using three baskets that I already had for underneath my sink and I'm just putting in my personal items like my tampons, panty liners, some bubble baths, some lotion, any tanning, aloe, razors, mouthwash, extra toothpaste, extra body washes, anything like that. I'm going to be storing it underneath my sink. And behind the pink baskets, there's a little gap, a little space so that I can add more things. So back there, I just put my aloe and I also put my peroxide and my alcohol back there. So I can store a few more things in the very back that I don't reach for every single day. And my over the toilet cabinet is different from the kids. The kids have two doors that close all the way. I wanted theirs to be like that because I've got four kids sharing that bathroom so I knew I was gonna need all of the space. 
for the cabinet over my bathroom it's a sliding door so there's only one side that I keep all of our stuff in and then the other side I want to make it just look nicer without storing a whole bunch of stuff like colorful bottles of lotions and stuff on the shelves so I like to use these really pretty glasses that I got from Target a while back to keep my q-tips and cotton balls and things in and floss and I just added a foot file underneath my sink that I had found and then on top of my cabinet I keep this basket with all my hair bows and my claw clips and then in here I'm just showing y'all this is where I keep my makeup remover wipes which those are almost gone I keep our air freshener our bathroom rags our toothbrushes and then up on the top shelf the right side is my husband's everyday things like his cologne and things that he just uses every day which is pretty much just his cologne so he's got three colognes and then I have a little container with my deodorant my face moisturizer my hair oil my dry shampoos all of my hair stuff so we're just gonna keep that up there and obviously my side is bigger because I have more stuff he's just simple and has just cologne <laughs> but also we have a big organizer in our closet that has a lot of our stuff which by the way I'm gonna be doing a spring cleaning series coming really soon in February I'm gonna be tackling spaces in my home we're gonna be decluttering and just getting my home reset my closet is disastrous you guys it's laughable how crazy it is I do try to keep it organized but there's just stuff everywhere and I know that I need to go through my closet so stay tuned for that video because we will be taking care of my closet and getting that all organized very soon I didn't have a lot to declutter out of my makeup vanity because I do keep that pretty minimal and I usually am really good about throwing things away when I don't want it or it's running low so I'm just gonna take everything out we're gonna wipe that down there was actually some like makeup spilled like powder and just dust and all kind of stuff in here so we're gonna take all these acrylic organizers out and wipe those down the acrylic organizers were actually dirty like needed to be wiped down but the wood inside was pretty clean but I just wanted to go ahead and just wipe it all down and start fresh with a clean slate and organize my makeup a little bit better so do y'all collect a lot of makeup or do you only have what you wear on a daily basis I will try out a new product here and there but if I don't like it then I'll go back to what I was already using or if I like it more than what I was using then I'll just start using that and start buying that but I don't usually buy a whole bunch of makeup I only have what I use I'll have a little bit of extra like date night style makeup like darker lipsticks but basically Basically, what you see is what you get right here and this is pretty much it. And also pretty much all of my makeup is drugstore. I usually get it all from either Target or Walmart. And here in just a little bit, I'm going to be hanging that shelf that was in the kids bathroom over their toilet in my bathroom over my vanity. And this was just like the missing piece to my puzzle. It looks so good in here and it was so helpful. I was able to put all of my perfumes on it. So we are going to take care of that here in just a minute. I know y'all have heard me talk about dossier a lot but I am putting all of my dossier collection perfumes here on my shelf I love these perfumes because they just look very aesthetic and like I said earlier not everything has to look aesthetic but you can make it look nice but I do love the way that all of these perfumes look when they're all side by side so I'm just kind of putting my same scents in front of each other so I basically have two of each scent and then I only have one of the coconut scent for summer so I will have to get one more of 
of those. But if y'all are interested in the Dossier perfumes, I love this line. I love this brand. Dossier is a luxury inspired fragrance brand. They sell higher end perfumes for a much cheaper price tag. And if you don't like the perfume that you chose online, then you can return it for a full refund. No questions asked. And you can also check your local Walmart because select Walmarts also sell Dossier perfumes in store. And they have scents for women, men, and unisex. And I do have several favorites that I have shared with you guys. With Valentine's Day coming up, I can highly, highly, highly recommend the Citrus Marine for your man. It is the one that my husband wears a lot. I love that scent for a man. It smells amazing, you guys. So definitely check out Citrus Marine for your man. And then every perfume is going to come with a note card. This one is the Ambery Vanilla. This has been one of my favorites lately. I have shared it multiple times. It smells like an iced vanilla latte in a bottle. You get a 50 milliliter bottle with a magnetic snap-on lid so you don't have to worry about it leaking in your car or your diaper bag or your purse. And you guys, something that I love about Dossier is that the, all the perfumes that are sent back to them, they donate them all to charity so no bottle of perfume ever goes to waste. Another favorite is the Ambery Saffron. This has been a go-to favorite since I started using Dossier. It is definitely one of my favorite scents for every day and it's also unisex but if you guys are interested in checking out dossier check my description box down below for that link and I'm gonna go ahead and add my flower child bath and body work hand soap to my sink I'm so excited for spring you guys the flower child is so far my favorite spring scent this year so let's go ahead and head into my bedroom. I'm gonna tackle my nightstand. It has gotten out of control. I was trying to fit all of these acrylic drawer organizers in my nightstand, but it just unfortunately did not fit. The top drawer is smaller than the bottom drawer. The bottom drawer I keep my important folder and I have a heating pad in there and that's pretty much all that I keep down there. But my nightstand was incredibly unorganized and it was bothering me. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. I decluttered a lot of stuff out of here. I put things back where they go and made it so much more more simple and also I have a little treat bag in there because you know mama's got to have her stash <laughs> Over here on my bookshelf, I wanted to add a few little pops of Valentine's Day. In my Valentine's Clean and Decorate video, I was trying to keep it super simple and not go all out with Valentine's Day. And there's a few pieces that I didn't use that I decided I wanted to use. So I'm just going to add my Be Mine gnomes to the top shelf with my truck. And in the second shelf down, we're just going to add this little house with the pink roof. I love using pops of pink for Valentine's Day over red just because I use so much red for Christmas. My house in the living room was a complete disaster. My kids had pulled all their toys out. They were strode all over the place. There were coats, book bags, jackets, everything everywhere. It was giving me so much anxiety, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of it. Also, if you look over next to my TV, I do have a new little space heater fireplace. It looks like a real fireplace. I found it on Amazon and it warms up the house so good. It works really well. It goes to low or you can put it on high or you can just use the fireplace and turn the heat off if your house is warm enough so if y'all are interested in that little space heater i will have that linked below but i love to go stand in front of it when i'm cold it's so nice warm and toasty and we've all been really enjoying it and I found that little bench at Goodwill. They had it priced for $25 and I had went back and they still had it and it was 50% off. So I got it for about 12 bucks, you guys. And that was such a good deal. I love that little bench. The kids have been sitting on it and playing and they just love to go sit on it. But I just think it is so adorable. And I will let y'all know that this video is going up a little bit backwards. So my next video will actually have my Goodwill haul where I went to Goodwill and I got a few things. But I needed to post this video first because I needed my dossier feature to go up. The dossier perfumes are sponsored, you guys, but I do... I do really love them. I genuinely enjoy their perfumes and I've said it before, but I will never share anything on my channel that I don't genuinely love or use. And there have been things that I've received from companies that I didn't really like and I let them know and I did not feature them. So definitely keep in mind that when I do share something on my channel, it is something that I really like. So I actually had some packages behind the couch 
they are mattresses for my boys room because we are about to make over the boys room you guys that's going to be such a fun exciting video so baby jackson is going to be practicing sleeping in a toddler bed we're just going to take the front off of his crib and let him practice sleeping in his bed that way i know it's going to be a few restful nights because you know you got to train them <laughs> but once he's good and trained and used to that we are going to take these mattresses and new beds and we are going to do the cutest theme ever so definitely stay tuned for that video y'all and y'all have to let me know what age did you change your kids to a toddler bed and what methods did you use to keep them in their bed this is my fourth kid so i do have experience and i do have my own little techniques but i would love to know what worked for y'all and maybe i can incorporate those into the way that i keep my kids in the bed basically i just keep walking them back to the bed telling them no no it's time to go to bed and I also like to keep a baby gate up just for safety so they can't run through the house in the middle of the night all alone. So anyways, I'm gonna finish cleaning up and decorating in my living room. I also have these gorgeous beads that I'm about to add to my coffee table. I had some beads on there, but they are so small. And I found some big fat beads at Goodwill for so cheap. I think they were like $4 or something like that. They were so cheap. And the ones at Hobby Lobby are like $30 or just like overpriced. So I cannot contain my excitement that I found these beads. I'm so excited I found these. I love the weathered look of them. But I'm just going to wrap these around my roses and put my decor back on the tray. And I just love this big fat bead so much. It fills up the tray so much better than the small ones. But I love these. I think they are so gorgeous. Sometimes when I go to Goodwill, well, I don't see really anything good and then other times they have so much but let's go ahead and finish up in here and then we are gonna head into the kitchen and start some dinner This dinner is so delicious and ridiculously easy. I just take some chicken, put some oil. We're gonna add the blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We're gonna add this to all of the potatoes, the green beans, and the chicken. And I'll have to use a lot of chicken, a lot of green beans, and a lot of potatoes because we're a family of six. But if you're a smaller family, you can fit all of this into one pan. I'm also gonna be using some Italian seasoning. I'm not gonna cover my chicken, but I am gonna cover my potatoes and my green beans. We're gonna cook this in the oven on 375 for an hour, and it is so good and easy. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna grab me a strawberry vanilla soda. This is a healthier soda that I've been drinking. I know a lot of people know about these, but these are so good. I have got them a while ago, and I just completely forgot about them, and then I remembered about them again recently, so I picked those up from the store. But this is the way our dinner turned out. It was so, so yummy and a must try. Such an easy dinner for tired mamas. It doesn't take long to prep it. Just make sure your meat's already thawed out and you can throw everything in the pan and stick it in the oven. And on long days like this, when you're doing a lot, you will thank yourself that you have an easy dinner. And last but not least, I'm just gonna organize through our medicines and put together a little first aid kit to keep in our cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope it motivated you to get some stuff done in your house. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. And I will see y'all in my next one.